The White House is a pretty sweet place to live. You are served delicious meals by the cooks in the White House. You're given $100,000 to redecorate, and a large team of people is at your disposal to meet your needs. However, there are some restrictions to living in the White House. For example, you cannot own an iPhone without having extremely strict security settings that make it resemble a child's phone. With all of these restrictions, leaving the White House can be a pretty startling experience when presidents and their families return to normal life. There is a lot of adjusting that needs to take place, but the big question is where do they go? We'll see just how much these spaces cost where they are and why the former presidents chose to live there. They are also given seven months of transition funding, 10 years of secret service protection, and 30 months of private staff for a salary not exceeding 150000 Barack Obama served as president from 2009 to 2017, and he was very outspoken about his future plans. Obama chose to stay in Washington, D.C., even though many expected him to return to Chicago, so that his youngest daughter, Sasha, could finish her education instead of buying a house outright even though he could afford it. Michelle and Barack made the decision to rent a mansion in the affluent area of Calarama. Given that Washington, D.C., is home to some of the most expensive homes in the world, the 8,200-square-foot mansion has nine bedrooms, eight-and-a-half bathrooms, and is valued at $6.2 million. Although the home's exterior has a charming vintage cottage appeal, the interior is the complete opposite, with a minimalist modern design in the kitchen. Includes white. Accents in gray and black can be seen throughout the rest of the house. Modern appliances are present, and since the White House kitchen staff is no longer responsible for serving meals, I imagine they are used. The kitchen also has a space designated for storing books or drinks, if that's more your style. If it were me, I would probably do the same. Beyond the living room, there are several sitting areas. The main living room is understated and cozy with a large fireplace for cold winter nights. The window panels tie the exterior of the house to the interior with their vintage design while also sporting the sleek lines and minimalist colors that are found in the interior of the home. And more white and gray the dining room has a weathered wood ceiling, which contrasts with the room's original white walls and dark wood floor. There is also a chandelier there that is sure to draw attention. There is an upstairs living room that is ideal for cuddling up and watching movies, as well as a room that can be used for morning workouts and morning reads. The bathroom has perhaps the most ambitious choice of all, with busy black and white wallpaper and a black white and gray tile floor. I suppose I probably shouldn't be trying to imagine the former president doing his business here. The master bedroom's sleek and vintage windows. The bedroom is fairly quiet for a minimalist space, but there is a loud walk-in closet. Outside, there is a spacious courtyard and backyard where you can relax and enjoy the sunshine. George W. Bush George W. Bush served as president from 2001 to 2009 and experienced some of the highest and lowest approval ratings of any president in history. Given that Bush wasn't covert about his country roots, it was only natural that, after leaving office, he would return to his ranch home in Texas, Prairie Chapel Ranch, which is located 25 miles west of Waco. Following his presidency, a number of other important world leaders, including Vladimir Putin, the Saudi King Abdullah, Angela Merkel, Tony Blair, King Juan Carlos of Spain, and Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon, visited. Given that the ranch is situated on 1,600 acres and has a 40-mile network of bike and horseback riding trails, it is simple to understand why George retired there to heal and unwind. The property has a 22-acre man-made pond that President Bush had filled with fish and is over 17 feet deep. There is also a large grove on the property, and the four-bedroom, 4,000-square-foot house has three miles of frontage along a river. Featuring house on the grounds was designed with floor-to-ceiling windows for maximum visibility and ease of access. In addition to the main house, there is also a guest house and a garage on the property. The complex also includes a helicopter hangar, which is not exactly common in your average ranch. Windows and doors lead outside in almost every room. A 10-foot porch surrounds the house with a tin roof that allows Bush and his family to enjoy the porch even when it rains. Bill Clinton Bill Clinton served as president from 1993 to 2001, experiencing some difficulty in the interim. 
By the time he left the Oval Office, he had been living in housing provided by the government for almost 18 years, so his return to normal life was quite a dramatic one. Fortunately, he had some nice digs to look forwards to at 15 Old House Lane in Chapel, New York, the Clinton Spot, a 5,232-square-foot home for $1.7 million though it's estimated to be worth a lot more today. The 11-room colonial sits on 1.1 acres and is surrounded by a large white fence with a small gatehouse. There is a lush front yard that encompasses the classic New England-style home. In the backyard there is a detached red shed. Consequently, when it was last viewed by the general public, it had a distinct 90s vibe. The home has a nice dining room and a cozy study with a large library. The house is decorated with memorabilia from his presidency and his travels around the world, including items from Africa, Asia, and the Pacific Islands. However, I can live without it in my home. Of course, if you have the money from two political careers, one house isn't enough. Bill also bought a house in Washington, D.C.'s Embassy Row neighborhood in 2000, when Hillary ran for president. The 5,500-square-foot Georgian style house has seven bedrooms, five bathrooms, and a variety of living spaces inside. However, the exterior may be the most amazing feature of the house because the backyard has a large pool and sun lounge area that is surrounded by flowers and trees to provide privacy and seclusion. The home has curved doorways and bright colors, which really contrasts with the Clinton's mansion in New York. There is also a formal dining room with bold walls and furniture that the Clintons added after buying the house so they could relax in the sun. There you have it, a family room with a big bookshelf and a room used for informal meetings. Former President's Residences If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you have any thoughts on which president is living the most opulent lifestyle.